Hi guys and welcome back. So today we are going to check out the ABC mergers. Don't forget to like the video to help the channel grow and subscribe if you have not. So where we were last time we were going to check out and see what was in this box. In this recording even. Okay so um, apparently these all equal this. So three, two, one. I'm assuming. I'm gonna guess. Let's go for it. Let's check it out. There is bound to be a clue. Yes, why does he have to talk the second time? It's super annoying. Three, two, one. Right? That's what it was, right? Is that not right? It's obviously not right, but... What else was it? Do I have to do something else? Do I have to... No, I still have to move those around. Okay. So there's obviously the clue. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that was... That's right, right? I mean, it's not anything else. Ugh, why is this going to be so annoying? Okay, so... Hmm. They're all the same. I don't get it. Um. That's that's that is right, isn't it? It's definitely not. Uh, it's not that one. That plus that plus that equals that. Maybe there's more than just something like just that. So one plus one plus one plus one equals that. Two. That's two. So maybe it's two, one of this and two of those, perhaps. There is bound to be a clue. So yeah, if you could just shut up, then I could do this. Do they need to be the same position? This is, I mean, that's, that's all I got from it, really. Or is it two up ones? I think it's two down ones, though. Oh, okay, let's have another look again. One more time. Come on, we can do this. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. So much thinking in this game. Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay, so if this one is four, four, four is there, um, eight, sixteen. Hmm. Difficult. Uh, that is bound to be a clue. I wish you would just say it once. Um. I'm, just, I'm sure that would be it. Uh, like that. Something like that. Oh, hello. I heard the sound of a mechanism being triggered. Okay. So mechanism is now triggered somewhere. Oh here. Well, of course. Okay, so where on here is that that thingy? Is it down here? Is it there's there's something by there? It looks like something goes in here. Yes, this. Tis this goes here. Um that doesn't work. God damn it. Okay, so there's got to be something on here somewhere with the inscription. Oh, the disc. Right? Maybe 7, 8, 10. 8T uh, even. 
No, 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 no. Why did I click on that? I didn't click on that. One of this. Seven. Eight. Do I need to go all the way down the alphabet for T? I hope this is right. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. Come on. N. O. P. Q. R. S. T. I just have to. Put the record Thank on God. the phone and start it. I'd have been so annoyed if uh, if I had to do that. That doesn't work. Oh come on! Why is life got to be so difficult in this game? That doesn't work. I must have. Ah! Uh, oh, there's something here. What happened here? Oh. Can I put it in this way? Yes. Good. Don't know what that one does. What's that one do? What's this one do? Gotta crank it up now, right? No, stop going down in their box, stupid thing. Ugh. Okay, crank it up, yeah? This way? And then play. Oh, Donald! We're in the middle of recording. Sorry, Betty, but it's not wise. The doctor said you should rest your voice. You're such a killjoy sometimes. Killjoy, dun dun dun, murderer! Found him. Betty was such a good singer. It's true. Did she have any problem with her thought? Yes, she had to be careful with her voice. Of course she didn't follow the doctor's advice. If Don didn't insist, she... Well, it's too late for all that now. Yes, well, maybe Don was the one who caused the sore throat in the first place. Family photos and fires. Uh, do I need to do anything else? I don't think I do, right? Continue questioning to Megan. Where are you, Megan? Shut up, Meg. She gone over here now? Yes, yes she has. It looks like this woman is single, but she has feelings for someone. Well, the photo, obviously. I don't know where I've got to click though. Here we go. No wedding ring. Brimming with tears. <gasps> she is looking so intensely at this photo. But is it really a sister that she's studying in this manner? Yes, now let's investigate her. They made the perfect couple, am I correct? Yes, in a way. She was pretty and he... Well? He's a bright man, with a promising career ahead of him. He would have made Betty a good husband. He was always attentive and generous. Oh, a true gentleman. I hear a note of envy in your voice. You must have heard wrong. Hmm... Donald appeared to be very much in love with your sister. Yes, he was mad about her. Mad, you say? Being madly in love can often be destructive, and Mr. Fraser was known for being jealous, I believe. No more than average. Men are always slightly possessive, especially when they are with a pretty woman. I mean, aren't they the same outcome anyway? I am not your enemy, Mademoiselle Bernard. And you are not my friend either, Mr. Poirot, sir. Yes, but your lies are not helping Mr. Fraser, or you for that matter. I know that Fraser was jealous, but I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Protect him? I hope you're not suggesting... That you are Fraser's accomplice? There is nothing to suggest that, at least not yet. It would appear that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Now can I count on your honesty? Yes, you have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Don is a quiet and sensitive young man, slightly reserved too, and as is often the case with reserved people, 
When he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. He could be so violent. Betty was frightened. And when was this? The first time was about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, she was free to go with whoever she pleased. Donald turned quite pale and started shaking and kept saying one day... One day... Well? He'd commit murder. Dun dun dun! Ask if Donald really have killed Betty. I feel Donald is a suspect. Do you think that is what happened? No, Mr. Poirot, I don't believe that. You yourself said he may be a recidivist madman. Don loved Betty with all his heart. I can't imagine for one instant that he would hurt her. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Indeed. I don't know what we really accomplished there, but... Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Yes. Au revoir, mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. Of course, Mr. Poirot. And don't be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. If you say so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. I knew this was coming up. I just knew it. Uh, what had Betty planned to do with her evening? Uh, so many, so many of these things. Betty was seeing other men as well as Donald, right? Betty used to go out a great deal. Probably meet someone that evening. I don't know. Is that it? No. Uh, visitors, ginger cat, uh, marks on neck, so just day before. Betty lied to Donald because she had a date with another man. Did Betty know her assailant? What's that? The whiskey one. That? No? Uh, oh, this one. No? This one? Now I'm just guessing. There we go. Fourth time's the charm. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Again? Okay, what is Megan Bernard's behavior hiding? Uh, Donald and Betty, yeah. Same man as well as Donald. Mm. Yay! Megan had a soft spot for Donald. She did. Did Megan Bernard have a motive for killing her sister? Um, no. This one. Megan was jealous of Betty. Dun dun dun. Okay, awesome. And we shall question him in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out the videos coming up, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.